Welcome back to TV's only source for all the stuff you care about. We're live on January 11th, and all this week, we've been having our own trade show here, KES. Yes, yes the Kevin Electronics Show. Basically, yeah. the staff has looted Pereira's desk mm -hmm. and stolen all of his toys. All that's left is a toothpick and some compromising pictures of Will. Yeah, and they burn my eyes for hours. Now, we're sure you're probably sobbing because you're not at CES and can't all afford all of those toys. Or maybe it was because Dad took out the old belt again. Oh. Whoosh! Oh. Either way, you need some cheering up. It's time to show you the best bits on TV that you might have missed working overtime. And uh, now asking for health benefits, our TiVo has outdone itself this week. Here's the punchline. First up, we have our old pal, Blair, David Letterman. We, wait, we know David Letterman? Well, I mean, we don't know him personally, but he's a huge fan of the show. I had no, really? I had yeah. no idea he was a fan of the show. Well, not this show, but someone on the staff watched it and, you know, you're, loved it. You're lying blatantly. Absolutely. To me. I'm totally lying. It doesn't matter heart. because Letterman celebrated the new Democratic Congress by profiling one of their members with a nice little documentary. The uh, Democrats officially took control of Congress today, so now to help Americans get acquainted with the uh, Democrats in power, uh, they've released this special get acquainted message. Take a look. Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, was born in 1940 in Baltimore, Maryland, where she spent her teenage years running with gangs and robbing old people for cigarette money. This has been getting to know the Democratic leadership. And it's all true, every last bit. Mm. Nancy also uh, took out somebody's eye for looking at her funny. Yeah, but becoming Speaker of the House wasn't the first time Nancy Pelosi broke gender barriers. Did mm -hmm. you actually know that she was the first female member of the Baseball Furies? Oh, yeah, totally. I remember her with all the face paint going, War paint. Warriors, Warriors come Mount. out and play Yeah, it. she rolled like that. Uh, next up, unfortunately, you cannot turn on the TV these days without stumbling into the middle of this ridiculous trump rosy feud. Yes, now, talk show hosts are being pulled into the fray for merely mentioning the war that Trump perpetuates. My boy Conan O'Brien is the latest casualty. Yes, Conan had the Donald on his show, and the two red-headed, purple tie-wearing men, they got into a feud all their own. See, Trump, I guess he thought they had some sort of agreement that Conan would not ask about Rosie and only talk about The Apprentice, and Conan was all like, uh, well, just take a look. Yes, you did. I did not! That's okay, but you did, but that's, uh, don't feel guilty. <laughs> Do you feel guilty? No. I feel no guilt at all because I honor my commitments. I didn't agree to that. I said I want to ask you one question about it at the top and then we can move on. Okay, but your representatives agreed to that. What representatives? Who agreed to that? Jeff, did you agree to that? You did not. Jeff? <laughs> Jeff? <laughs> Jeff? He said he was just going to ask uh, one thing. Well, I guess, guess where you're not golfing next week. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know who to really believe there because our producers are always, you know, lying to us. I mean, I'm still... I'm not supposed to ask you about your fake boobs. <laughs> These were fake. It would be the worst plastic surgeon ever. <laughs> anyway, if what Rosie and Barbara Walters are saying is true, Trump may very well be a pathological liar. Either way, he's an idiot. Ouch. Well, Ouch, Blair. That's saying. Trump. He could employ you someday. That's true. He could also fire me. I see you on The Apprentice me. next year. He could fire you very easily. Now, I really don't want to, you know, ask you a question, but you like our boy Barack Obama, right? Yes, I am. I, I, I mean... Okay, I'm not supposed to talk politics, but I'm a big Obama fan because when I see him speak, it really reminds me of, like, JFK and RFK. Oh, yeah, the airports, totally. No, no not the airports. Well, I, Obama seems like a pretty good guy to me, but my question is, can a guy with the name Barack Hussein Obama, Hussein being his mm. middle name, ever get elected president? The Daily Show crew speculates. Check it out. Okay. Unfortunately, Obama's being laden with a name that causes Al-Qaeda problems. Now, now, right there, see, right, right, you said been laden and then Al-Qaeda, that is, that is... No, no, I said Al-Qaeda. <laughs> Hussein Al-Qaeda. No, sir, Hussein, see, that's... If you're judging candidates solely by their names, why not just elect Johnny Apple Pyman? <laughs> Be serious, John, the country's not ready for a Jewish president. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, politicians cannot have stage names. They're kind of stuck with whatever their parents arbitrarily decided. Yes. Also, on the other hand, we get to decide what we're called. That's show business. Absolutely. That's right. Blair and Zach, stage names, real ones, uh, far too embarrassing. FYI, Blair's real name is Mindy Mai Huggins. Yes. 
and sax is Dick Smallenstein, but we don't talk about him. <laughs> and finally, we scoured the late night scene looking for one comedy pundit to comment about Apple's big iPhone announcement. Right, Dick? Yeah. And, uh, Watch you know it. What? No one gave two craps about the iPhone. Yes, mm -hmm. but our salvation came in the form of Craig Ferguson, who we can safely say delivered one of the worst jokes ever. Apparently, the iPhone wasn't the comedy gold mine that we all thought it was. Oh. This is, this is, wow! <laughs> that, no, this is important. This is the biggest technological development since curly fries. <laughs> This is, this is, I see Apple, they've delivered. They've delivered it. Take that, Bill Gates. He is. Oh, yeah, Bill Gates and Microsoft are still reeling from uh, the Microsoft failed version of the iPod, the Zune. Yeah, I never saw one either, but uh, <laughs> apparently the Zune zucked. Zucked, they get it? You throw a Z in front of them. It's hysterical. That's the punchline, right? Zucked. You know, like, unless our Zebo joins the Zunion, we'll have the week's funniest clips for you next Thursday. Oh, good times. Don't go anywhere. The attack of the show continues after the break. Seriously, stay put. Don't make me crack out the whip and the ball gag. Go it's get it. Ready. No, go it's get it. It's all the okay. news you need to know.